Russia formally annexed four Ukrainian regions on Friday. Here's how Vladimir Putin and Russia celebrated the annexation. Hey, come on, you know, shoot three. Raz, two, three. Raz, Raz, Raz. Ukraine is outraged. It has perhaps forever lost 20% of its territory to Russia. And Putin is saying very clearly that Russia will use nuclear weapons to protect the newly annexed territories. Ukraine, too, made a move on Friday. It was unexpected and is very significant. On Friday, Ukraine crossed the threshold and applied for fast-track membership of the NATO. Russia has always feared that Ukraine would become a NATO member state and bring the alliance's forces and weapons at its doorstep. The Kremlin says that it is a major reason why Putin launched the so-called special military operation against Ukraine in the first place. Ukraine on Friday formally requested an accelerated accession to join the NATO. Vladimir Zelensky said, and I quote, we trust each other, we help each other, and we protect each other. This is what the alliance is, de facto. Today, Ukraine is applying to make it de jure. But Ukraine's grand move of applying for fast-tracked membership is purely a one-sided hope, one which is not shared by NATO and its most prominent members. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg on Friday evening reiterated the alliance's unchanging position that it is open to new members but shied away from directly endorsing Ukraine's bid. Stoltenberg said, A decision on membership, of course, has to be taken by all 30 allies and we take these decisions by consensus. Our focus now is on providing immediate support to Ukraine to help Ukraine defend itself against the Russian brutal invasion. Essentially, NATO's focus is not on providing immediate membership to Ukraine, but to help it fight Russia. That's not what Ukraine wanted when it applied for NATO membership. Kiev took a big risk by antagonizing Russia on an issue which annoys Putin the most, the prospect of NATO formally entering Ukraine. However, NATO did not show much excitement in providing Ukraine with accelerated membership of the alliance. Instead, it said the move required the consensus of all 30 member states. That practically means that Ukraine is not getting the membership of the military alliance anytime soon. It's not easy to join the NATO. Countries must meet a whole set of requirements to qualify for membership. The most important requirement is that the country should not be involved in active conflict and that it should not have border disputes with its neighbours. That is not the case with Ukraine, which is why NATO is not keen to admit it only to trigger a direct conflict with Russia. NATO has been pretty clear on what it wants, and it's pretty simple. It does not want a direct war with Russia. That is why NATO refused to do so much as impose an airspace blockade over Ukraine in the initial weeks of the conflict, fearing a response from Russia. Moscow knows that the NATO does not want to face it in a direct fight, which is why Deputy Chairman of Russia's Security Council Dmitry Medvedev said NATO will not come to Ukraine's rescue. A close aide of Putin, Medvedev declared that if Russia did strike Ukraine with a nuclear weapon, NATO member states will put their own security ahead of protecting, and I quote, a dying Ukraine that no one needs. Seven months into Russia's war on Ukraine, NATO is still not ready to admit it into the alliance. Do you think Ukraine acted prematurely? Or do you think the NATO is just bluffing for too long? Do let us know in the comments.